and we're back with this uh, interesting looking game called Fort Meow. Which seemingly has no controller capabilities. And it's absolutely deafening me at the second in music. So. Nia stared up at the gigantic house Ooh, in exactly. front of her. She usually spent her vacations here with her grandparents. She peered into the darkness. It was Cut. kind of strange that the front door was already open and there didn't seem to be anyone home. Her mother had told her not to expect Grandad to be around. He was due to go into hospital for surgery the day before she arrived. Perhaps that was why no one was around. Two flights of stairs later, Nia had arrived at the final steps up to the attic. During her holidays, she liked to spend most of her time exploring here. She found some solitude in the attic and enjoyed spending her time rummaging around in the mountains of family relics. I apologize for the glitchy new, looking video. Every visit. This time, however, something caught her eye almost immediately. It had her grandfather's name scribbled on the front cover. If there ever was a contest for finding the most interesting item in the attic, she just won. And so she sat down and began to read. Okay, not quite sure why that video was artifacting like that, but... I blame the cat. Clearly it was the cat that did it. <laughs> okay, I think I understand the concept of this game. You must, in order to read a book, you must defend yourself from cats, so you do not have them on your lap trying to uh, get attention. In order to do that, you must pile things up and build yourself a small fort. <laughs> okay, uh, left click and drag to build your fort. Use the mask wheel or up and down keys to rotate a held object. Right click to return a currently held object. Okay. I can see some more cats getting ready to pounce. So you got rid of the last person then. Right. Settings, thank you. Oh, that is better. I'm sorry if those numbers really annoy anyone. I'm still having to turn my headset down anyhow, but hopefully that this can ensure that uh, I've not got loud noise blaring at you lot. Right, so we've got an ugly spider that needs to die. Well, it looks like we've got two gingers looking to try and attack us from, uh, well, one from each side. So, uh, clearly we need something. Uh, let's see. Oop, doop, doop. Time, 70. Ah, I see. Each item has a cost in time and cost in HP, which it has for defense purposes. So let's see, 20, 20, 10 is 50, plus 10, 55. Okay, so we'll have time left over by the looks of it. Hit points wise, we've got a 2, a 1, a 2, and a 2. 
So one side's going to get slightly more screwed than the other. Hmm. Ah, but wait. I think I see the problem. Okay. Yep, that would be a big problem, noise. Uh, spend this much time building your fort. Okay. That's nice. Oh, okay, you got multiples of, of items. Okay. <laughs> bear, bear. A bit excessive with uh, the cleaning up, but uh, okay. So we got two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those. Uh, okay, so let's right, stick. Hang on, those take twenty. Those take twenty. Right. Stick that there. Stick that there. Stick that on top. That leaves us ten. So the best we're going to get with that is a two. Maybe that will defend us. Maybe. I mean, I could probably work out a cheaper way, possibly, but let's give it a test and see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so they each take off one point. And as I figured, it looked like they were going to attack from one each side. Conveniently, they both landed on top. Which I guess makes sense if they're aiming to get on the lap. Oh nice. New cat type and a new chapter. Oh god. Uh, and we got to read some of this book. Apparently got a service ward 25 years at University New Langdon. Uh, back in my heyday, I worked as a scientist at the University of New Langdon. We ran a busy laboratory in the basement of one of the old boarding house buildings on the campus. By we, I mean myself and my good friend Tom Rene. I first met Tom when I started working as a junior scientist at the university. He and I eventually convinced the director to let us run our own operation. Some say it wasn't the best decision the director made, but we only had a few minor incidents, mostly involving fire. A fair amount of our work involved the dissection and study of animals. My official field of research was based in kinesiology. That didn't stop us, however, from using the lab for some off-the-record experiments. Uh, don't ask me what kinesiology is. I would guess it's bugs, possibly. Well, that's probably the easiest thing to research. No idea. Not a clue. Not going to look it up for you, guys. Dear Professor Bird. I'm honored to invite you today to acknowledge your 25-year service achievement. It comes with great pleasure to award you with the included 25-year service award medal. The university also wishes you the best with your retirement next semester and thanks you for time spent teaching and researching exciting new technologies here at Science Centre. I think I can speak for all the faculty, students and students when I say you will be missed dearly and to thank you for your contributions to the university. 
my best wishes for the future. Sincerely, Stanley J. Simons, University Director. Okay. I can see some more cats getting ready to pounce. Alright, two on each side. And we've got... Ah! So we've got the items that got destroyed. Back to full health. And items that we had left over from previously. Uh, let's see. One of those, that'd be 20, 40, yeah, 40, uh, 50. Ah, but we've only got 20 in time left, haven't we? Alright, how about we put a cushion on each side as hopefully one of them may survive. I don't know, two, yeah. Assuming that two of them are going to be both attacking, that means we should lose 2 HP on that one, 2 HP on that one, and then still have our nice little bunker. Let's give it a try. Symbols! Plus 10 time! Excellent! I can see some more cats getting ready to pounce. Thank you. Uh, right, let's see. Um, three on that side and two there again. Right. Uh, perp a derp a derp. Right. I'm going to put down a couple of brooms first. That way. We've got some backup for whichever side gets attacked first. Change the colour of that cushion. Right, that's a bit more symmetrical. Try your best, kittens. Oh, there we go. Perfect. And we've still got one left over for next time. Uh, right, I can't be asked to read this out to you right now for a quick one, so I'm going to need more stuff. But I'll never be able to lift anything up these stairs. Move it, bot! Battery charge, limit load. It's a hot air balloon bot. Explore plan. Click on doors to move to different rooms. Hold the left mouse button to pan upward. Um, I was still reading that. Oh well. Uh, time to find some more things to perform. Maybe one of the rooms below will have something I can use. Oh, balls. Oh, well. Let's see, we have 35 seconds. Got an extra cat on that side. Yeah. Oh, wait, 35. That means we can get one of those. Right. Yeah, you can go there. You can go there. Hey, 
करेगा Okay, can't have them intersecting objects currently. Right. Um, however, you can apparently play a nice bit of balance and have them sticking off the edge. Oh, right, yes. Alright, let's see how that does. Oh. Right, okay. Uh, time for more, find more things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be here for now. Let's see how it goes. All right. Well, we've got that safe for next time, anyhow. Because I think this might do for now. Oh, you cheeky bastard! Oh great, another new cat. Ooh, lots of time. But not enough time. Ooh. A doorbell? Is it guest? It's a long way down to get to the door. Oh, package. I think the movie bot could easily handle something that small about much battery charge. Besides, it will save me walking down those hundred stairs and back up again. Agreed. Go, go, team shutting. Yeah, I can see. Package has my name written on it on the front. What's inside? Um. Mystery balloon spawns a random balloon that hovers above near, bounces away any cats to come in contact. Okay. Right, well, let's get this thing. Rebuilt first. Um. Oh, hang on. I could wipe it all away. Yeah. Stick these either side of us still. But now. I can have that tasty thing on top. Which leaves me a 35. And I've got two of those. Fuck yes. Yeah. <laughs> Even better. And I've not got any of the other fuckers, so yeah, even better. Right. Well, hang on, explore, may as well use some battery to see what else I can pick up. Uh, cost 100% battery. 
100%. Is that 100% of what's currently available or 100% of the entire battery? That was funky in here. Alright. Yeah, 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 no interest in that. Uh... Ah, that's it. I have no idea how you charge that. Perhaps it just recharges from non-use. I didn't pay that much attention. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, 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 you cheeky, cheeky fuckers. Yeah, apparently it gains 45 each time, battery-wise. Uh, yeah, yeah, something about dating. Clearly. More cats. Alright, we've got two of the fat bastards that can come inside. Hmm. I wonder. Is that rehealed or what? Looks like it might be. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I know how I'm going to take care of the fat boys. Those should be more than enough to take care of the dive ones. And you should take care of the side boys. Seeing as the side boys only seem only likely to do one point of damage. Well, they did take out those. One of those in a single hit last time, didn't they? Oh well, we'll test it and see. Ha! Ha! You bastards! Hmm. Right, I see the problem. Let's use that to help hold that up for a second. And we can use it to also hold that one up, and then hopefully that won't fall. Ha! Physics! Now let's try that again. Perfect. <laughs> I see some cats going around to pounce. Battery seems to have enough charge power up move it bot. I think I saw a few more items. Another package. Repair kit. Use Drag and drop the repair kit onto the item you want to repair. I'm guessing that's used in mid battle, sort of thing. Right. 
Ah, oh, let's go. Yeah, let's explore. Thank you. Apparently, this is the only room I can use at the moment. Yeah, package got bought straight up. Uh, 25, 2 HP, 1 HP, awful that man, awful, right, get the TV, should be good enough for now, right, 5, and 5 fuckboys on each side, ooh, 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 Right, those cost 20, those cost 10. Don't need to put those back this time. Right, let's try and get those. Oh, that's a bit better, right. Uh, yeah, so 20, I can either, oh, yeah, let's do it this way, and, wait, what, oh, Oh, yeah. Oh. Screw that. And screw that. I'll just stick with... These for the 20. Balls, I'm not going to be able to stand those up properly, am I? Uh, yeah, that should roughly catch them. Go for it. Oh, I see. Each cat charges up the battery. Apparently of static, maybe? Yeah, ignoring you. More cats. Battery's no good at the moment. Uh, yeah, and we got 30. That does, however, mean I could get those two back out. And both of those. <sighs> ah, there's only three and three right now. Right, well, let's get these cheap last defences out of there. Now I've got 20, that means I can either go for. No, I'll just do it this way, yeah. Better safe than sorry. Defend! Oh, you're sneaky. Ow! Christ! Okay. And with that, I think I'll leave this one for now. Move on to the next game.
and here we have a game now called Splotches. I'm assuming it's going to be a very colourful game. It appears to, it appears to be mouse only again. Puzzle guide. Ooh, colourblind mode. That's a handy setting. Wow. Puzzle guide. Muse. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what they're trying to suggest there. But, uh, sure. Let's go over that. Yep, full screen. I am English. Shoulder. Pi Sh <laughs> There's a pirate mode. American. British. Sorry. American. British. Or pirates. Yeah, let's go with pirates. Let us a mark. <laughs> That be the settings. Bought the plan for the exit. All hands. I'm guessing that's the award. Run a rig. I'm guessing that's some sort of create your own setting. I didn't look before. Didn't notice. And weigh anchor. That tends to mean set out a port. Let's go for it. I think I can rightly assume this is a puzzle game. <laughs> Oi, Ivy Spudge, let me show you how to play the splotches. How to play splotches, even. Splotches. Tis a splotch. You're going to be seeing a lot of these. You can mix and spread splotches. Try dragging to green one on top of the red one. To mix him. Okay then. Well, if that wasn't the weirdest thing I ever saw. Plundered the puzzle. That's no, right. Plundered the spluzzle. No more than two hail shots. And quicker than three Jesse. Quicker than three Jiffies. <laughs> In fact, it was 2.52 Jiffies. Jiffies being an official scale, you don't you know. <laughs> okay. Swab to reset, steady on as we go. Right. Avast, that was a big boom. Splotches explode when you mix brown. Tis what we call... A brown explosion. As you may have figured out, your goal be to destroy the rainbow orb. Because apparently we don't like these rainbow orbs in. Too rainbowy. Oh no, we just need to release its happiness grog to make the world a better galleon. <laughs> that is a good objective indeed. Let's do it again. Right. In that case, the swift down around. Ah, I see now. Woohoo! Woo oh, that was not fast enough in the slightest. Right, I understand. The splotch has to be touching the orb. But you have to go round the orb. Okay. Let's try that again. Mm -hmm. 
Apparently, as soon as the game starts, it's not a time for it to start uh, squirting out the splot it splotches. But I was at least quicker than 5.8, 5.58 jiffies. Relax. I was 3.86 jiffies. Steady on as she goes. Filters. Filters only be letting certain colours across them. Well, that's not sounding helpful now, is it? That means I'm going to have to put the red one through the red, I'm guessing. Let's see if you can break this orb in, matey. If you need help, don't be afraid to ask. Well, I ain't gonna ask, because I ain't gonna need help. Well, I took the red one a bit further than I was meaning, but it still works. Painted walls? Tis a painted wall! You can uh, get past these. Sorry, tis a painted wall! You can now uh, get past these till our uh, lackeys with the same gala have been sunk. Same gala? Color? I'm sorry, is you an American pirate then? Spelling colour like that? Have some pride in being a British pirate. Well, it was a bit slower than uh, I would have liked as I looked that over, but I still did it in under 8.58 GVs. That's all that matters. Be careful not to swipe out the splotches. He needs to finish a splizzle. If you Air do. If you air do, you can restart the spluzzle in the pause menu. Oh, if if you ever do, if you ever do, come on, get your spelling right. Error. Right and. You can now spread splotches over. Alrighty. Pores and swab. Right, of course those are the filters, ain't they? Well, that wasn't fast enough in this lightest now, was it? Mark, you set, go. Ha! I see you there, little clocky me lad. And how fast was the jiffies? 2.91. <laughs> Not bad in this lightest. Maximum security break now. Oh, a free there jail cell, you see. Be designed to only open for expert puzzle, sp expert puzzle masters. Remember, his will open painted walls of the same color once they all be sunk. Right. Well, I've done this too slow for me, like this. 
But you are dead. I can't see brother to really do that one. Yeah, yeah, steady on you. The combinations. Oh, yeah, bugger. Green and red aren't the other only colors that explode. These three pairings of complementary colors make round. Here behind the guys to help you remember them. Okie dokie. Uh, right the fuck up. Yeah, I ain't caring too much about the speed on this. I think once I be getting to and having completed the twelfth. Whoops. Shows it. So, completed the tenth puzzle. I shall leave it for this game. Stop insulting me, you swervy knave. Mix it up. At last I be sorry. We seem to have run out of green. I found some blue and yellow after the ship. Maybe you can find some use for something. He's using science now. Now that was pretty close to the ding, but you're still mocking me about, aren't you? Walk around the filth bark. Bucket splotches. Mix and explode, just like range regular splotches. You can just now move him around. Right. Woo indeed, matey. <coughs> Any way you want it. You can mix the primary colours in any order to make a brown explosion. Just be careful not to mix secondary colours with each other. As green, purple and orange, they make black. It is terribly difficult to swap, so it is, it is best to avoid it. Here be a handy dandy chart for ye. Oh. Does look nasty. Yeah, it's a bit of a Oh no! Wait, so you got to be careful then, I say. Get stuff cleared away first. Screw you and your hail shots. Alrighty then. On to the next game, Leavings.